But in terms of the hurricanes, what we expect depends on two things. One is predictable, and that is how hot the sea is. Given how hot the seas around the Caribbean are, we predict that the season would be at least as active as was normal in the past. So that means at least about 14 storms, of which seven would become hurricanes and three would become major hurricanes. Scenario A is there's not going to be too much dust, then we get a progressive uptick in the hurricane season activity towards its annual peak in September. And uh, that means also that the uh, flooding and flash flood potential will increase until uh, the month of September. And the heat will also increase progressively to September. If there is more dust, scenario B, we get erratic activity of the hurricane season and of extreme rainfall. We get more episodes of hot spells and put potentially even really a strong and lasting heat waves. And of course, we also expect that there will be dry spells in between those episodes where we can get rain. So yes, we're in the wet season, but that doesn't mean that dry spells, which are little uh, episodes of one to two weeks in which there's that little rain that it can really dry out the surface and therefore lead to uptake of uh, local dust in the atmosphere, but also can wilt crops at the hottest time of the year, etc.